What's up, YouTube? Randy Orton Fan 2011, and I'm back here in Denver Motor Speedway, or Pig's Cliff for most of you, for round 11 of 18 in season 2 of the PORWC GameStop Cup Series. This is the Mountain Dew Darkberry 300. So we've reached once again Denver. This is one of the most interesting tracks in the uh, PORWC circuit. And I actually have a special guest commentator with me. And that is the driver of that is the driver of the three car. And he is with me in the boot, Liam Irvig. Hey, Liam, how are you doing? I'm not bad. How about you? I am great. So, of course, we got a nice field of 42 drivers. And they're all looking for a big win here. Of course, there are two races left before the playoffs. Who do, you th who do you think could be uh, a factor in this one as we get closer and closer to the end of the regular season? Uh, I was getting to that point where it's you know, about crush time, so I think people are going to be rushing and trying to get into these top couple spots in polls. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yes. This is going to be an interesting race, to say the least. We'll take a look at the starting lineup, then we'll, get the, then we'll take a look at a few notables in the starting grid, then we'll get the command to fire the engine, so stay tuned. I was looking at your starting lineup. Check this out. Natalie Hayden's the rookie is starting on the pole for uh, on just her second start in the PRWC Pep GameStop Cup Series. How do you think of that, Liam? A rookie like Natalie Hayden starting on the pole. Okay. Well, it just goes to show how competitive these rookies are and how much they want to win. Just much as better. Oh yes. Of course, Liam Irving will start in the second in the second position. He's actually in a new ride in the three car, in the nice Oreo machine that Dale owned at Junior Drone in 2002. Danny Wells will be starting in the third position. There is one of our in-race reporters, Charles Jackson. He will be starting fourth. And we'll see if we can get um, a response from him. Hey, Charles, this is Aaron Williams. you have a copy? Yep. So, Charles, when you think about coming to a track like Denver with the high speeds and the high banking around the turns, what is your mindset going through, going through coming into this race? Well, I've seen Pig's Cliff before in a kind of high-speed racetrack. I mean, speeds are high, could be higher than Daytona. You just got to you know, keep everything in gear. Don't try to do any crazy moves in the beginning. Oh yes, we have seen some massive wrecks over the year, over the time here at Denver. Thank you very much, Charles. Good luck in this race. And then, of course, our second in race reporter, Seth Cole, is in the 12th car. We'll see if we can get a word from Seth Cole. Seth Cole, this is Aaron Williams. Do you have a copy? Lovely. So, Seth, so um, you're doing uh, pretty okay in the points right now. So, you're, of course, you're trying to make the top 12 in the points after two, two, after this race and then the following race. So, what is your mindset going to a track like this, such as a speedway and a road course combined together? Well, quite honestly, with where I am seeing the track is top 10 birds, it seems that uh, the mindset coming into this race just as wide. Uh, with this track split between a restricted plate track, track and a road course, I consider myself more of a restricted plate driver and, and not so much of a road course driver, so we're going to have to really concentrate on the turns, turns in the road course section of this track, track we're going to come away with a good finish, but, you know, we got to work really hard in the fall, and I think we got to go real fast hard and maybe pick up a win here today. All right, thank you very much, Seth. Good luck in this race. Of course, you see a bunch of the other drivers. Yep. 
All right, there's Eric Burton. He's looking for the Rookie of the Year honors. Of course, he did win at, uh, he was the winner at Los Angeles. Take a look at the rest of the field. There are actually a few drivers near the back of the pack, and Richard Earnhardt, he actually crashed during qualifying, and uh, very disappointing to see Richard Earnhardt, a rookie like this, crash during qualifying. He's going to start dead last. And uh, when, uh, Sean Henley, Sean Henley actually, uh, actually crashed. He just crashed during final practice, so he will start in the 41st position. Liam, it's very disappointing to see a rookie like Sean Henley with a lot of potential, a lot of talent, start moving right back in this one. One sec, is, uh, is Liam is still here? Like, is, can he yeah, talk? Yeah. I'm just wondering, because he's oh, not... Oh, I, I just, just, just having a problem. problem. My head, my head feels like Oh, okay. All right, well, uh, here we go. Liam, give us the command to fire up the engines. For the thousand of dead men. For the million, million, million watching watch at home. At home. Ready for, ready for these most famous words in motor sports. Rock, rock, sorry, your engine. And they're firing them up, and we're ready to go here in Denver. We're ready to start the Mountain Dew Dark Berry 300. So, Liam, what is your insight through as they go as they go through a track like this? What is your insight on it? Well, well, you know, you know, this is all the first night. Uh, 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 road race, road race, uh, super speed race, speed race, 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 Possibly one of the most exciting races of, race of the year. Of the year. But, but I don't know. We've, we've had some great races this year, so it's going to be hard to be hard to talk. Oh, yes. Of course, you see them going probably about twice as much of pace speed, about 120. But, of course, Natalie Haydens didn't make much of an impact in her first race, looking to change that in her second race here in the PORWC GameStop Cup Series as we take the green flag. Here we go. Natalie Haydens with the early advantage. Oh, they're wrecking. They're wrecking already. Oh, man. Oh, and oh, look out. It's Hannah Smith. There's uh, Michael Dawson, Hannah Smith. Oh, Pete, you got a piece of that one. Looks like uh, that's uh, Ryan Cooper, and then just like that, the caution is out. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, Oliver Lacey just flipped over. Holy crap. Man. Just like that, the caution is out. And who's in? Oh, man, Charles Jackson is already out of this one. Hannah Smith, who's fourth in the points. Seth Cole, heavy damage. Oh, my God. Both of our in-race reporters are damaged. Both our in-race reporters. Yep, and that's not a good sign, and the caution is out. Oh my god. Just like that, we get a caution, and that's just the risk that comes when it comes to racing at super speedways like this, aka Denver. Liam, it's just very, very unpredictable how these super speed how these restricted play tracks can go out, but we just saw a big wreck on the very first turn. Well, no, I guess, no, I guess. There's, only, there's only there's not too many laps in this, in this, in this, in this, in this so, thing. So, you know, people, you know, people fighting for fighting all, for all the positions, not quite, not sure, quite sure when to make the moves. moves. Well, we'll take and a look. I guess, and I guess that was the result. Yep, very risky racing here at uh, at Denver. We'll take a look at what bring up, brought out the caution. Stay tuned. All right, let's take a look. We'll bring out our first caution of the race. You're going to see the four of Yoko Makedo. He's going to slap the racetrack. No way. It's actually, uh, no, it's actually Pichu. Pichu gets into Seth Cole right here, and that's going to get, and that's going to, Seth, Seth Cole's going to slam into Eric Burton, and then Charles Jackson just nowhere to go for the 16 car, and those cars bounce hard off the outside wall. Oh, man. That's what starts the wreck, and that is what brings out the caution, but I think something else might have happened behind them. I'm not quite sure. No, nothing happens behind them, oh, but something happens in front of them. Something happens in front of the what started the caution. I'm trying to figure out who that is. Oh, Pichu's not looking for where he is. He's, Pichu comes back up the racetrack. He's going to get into Hannah Smith, and then you see Seiko Kato, and then 
And then Petrie's going to get into uh, Michael Dawson here, and then Ryan Cooper. Oh, and take a look. Michael Dawson's going to take a hard hit on the outside wall. And there you see Driver's Lunch Savannah Turner, our previous race winner. Tough break for Savannah Turner. And there you see Ryan Cooper going sideways. But we're, there were three wrecks in this in this first lap somehow. There were three wrecks in this first lap. You see most of the back of the field are starting to slow down. Something happens around here, I think. Something happens around here. Oh, something. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Oliver Lacey gets into Luke Walker in the 93 car. And then, and then he's going to get turned around by Sean Henley. And then somehow Oliver Alessi, the Frenchman, is going to get lifted off, the, lifted off because of, this, of the banking over there. And then he's going to flip over. Oh, man. And that's just the risk that you get when you race at a track like Denver. Man, a tough break for a lot of, a lot of drivers, especially of our two in-race reporters, Seth Cole and Charles Jackson. We'll get we'll get a word from them as they we'll get a word from them as they what they experienced from the wreck. Um, uh, we'll see if we can get a hold of the first one. We'll get a hold of Seth Cole first. Hey Seth, do you have a copy? Yeah. So when you saw the, so when you saw Pichu come get into you and then you saw the and then you were getting into uh, Eric Burton and then you were heading into the outside wall. What happened? What happened between you and Pichu? Uh, well, I don't really know. Like, I think it's just that everybody was, was uh, still trying, trying to make, make, make their move earlier on. I mean, six, six laps, laps. It's, it's go time, time every single lap. lap. So, uh, so, so if you, like, like, if there was a potential or not, I'd have to take a look at the replay. I'd have to get out of the car and everything like that. You know, you know, I know that he and I am Luke Walker have to run for another series, series but, but I, really I really don't think it's potential. I think it's just, think it's just everybody's, everybody's trying, trying to make moves, moves and, and I think, I think everybody, everybody just had to try and see if they, they could get, get the front the front quickest way possible. possible. But, but I, really I really hate it for the guy that, 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 that put this, this part together. together. I think it was going to be a contender all day long. This is certainly not the way we're going to end our day. All right, thank you very much, sir. And we'll also get a word from what happened to Charles Jackson because he took a hard hit on that part on that wreck. He definitely took a hard hit on that wreck. Hey Charles, you have a copy? All right, Charles, what was your what was your mindset when you when you saw Eric Burton get right into your driver door and then slammed you into that wall? Uh -huh. I just. I just... I tell you, you too hard, hard to don't know it. Way. You got to think you know what I mean. You know what I mean. When, when you need, you need to take, take steps step back, back and think about what you do before you do, 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 do it. But, but, I mean, I mean tough, tough luck for us. Right. Right. I mean, I mean, it's a good run. You just need to get it. All right, thank you very much, Charles. Natalie Haydens will be our leader as they come to the stripe. So um, a very so Liam a big wreck that has occurred in this first lap. What is your reaction to it? Uh, I, don't I don't even know what to say. To say, to say you know, you know I'm I'm get these these not to not very many, many laps at all. all and, and, like you like, think this, this is crazy, crazy at the start. This is even more crazy. more crazy. At the end, I'm assuming. Well. Uh, <laughs> Well, who, who knows that Natalie Hayden could be our breakout rookie or maybe Danny Wells could pull, pull away and steal a win here. What do you think about these two drivers? <coughs> well, you know, well, I know I'm not personally. personally. I don't know how, I don't how much you would have to race, race the track. track. Natalie, Natalie is also, is also a, rookie. a rookie. This is only this the only second start. And we all, and know, we all, how all know how much she would have to get a good finish. finish. We'll be right back to Green Flag Racing right after this. Don't go away. We're back. Pace Cars giving us the one to go, and we are set for a one lap shootout just like that. Just like that, the first lap of the first caution, and now we're set for a one-lap show. And it's Natalie Hayden's who is the leader, followed by Danny Wells, Nicole Sanchez in third, Dion Scott fourth, Billy Macroff runs in the top five. And it's Barney Ward, Jason Marshall, Yoko Mikado, Aaron Williams, and Liam Erdick, six through ten. We wait. The green flag. There it is. Green flag's in the air. Here we go. One lap to go. 
This is it. Well, yo, I tell you what. Yeah, if Hoffman would have been the lap later, it would have been over after the first lap. But, you know, now we've got one lap to go. Yeah, everyone's just about yeah, spread out yeah. here. Yeah. Everyone's just about spread yeah. out. Yeah. Now, Natalie yeah. Hayden's Danny yeah. Wells yeah. side by side for the lead. This is going to be interesting one to the finish. Can Hayden's hold the bottom line? She wants Danny Wells, but can Danny Wells get her loose up the racetrack? Oh, they're wrecked. They wrecked me behind them. The caution is out, but this is going to be it. This is it. This is it. It's a race back to the line. It's a race back to the line. The caution is out. Here comes Danny Wells to the inside. Can he get the? Can he go for the lead? Can Danny Wells break the winless streak that has, that has haunted him for his entire racing career? Can he do it? Oh, there's another car on the wall. Oh, here we go. It's about for the finish. It's Danny Wells. Danny Wells wins it, and they're wrecking him behind them. Wow, we're at the heavy runner this lap. Danny Wells just pulls oh up the win. Oh, my God. He's using, he's just out of it. Yoko McKinnon got a huge piece of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wow, just wow. Oh man, Alexander Dawson took a hard hit somewhere. But this is just a big mess here. A big mess to say the least. But Danny Wells finally wins a race. How about that for Danny Wells? Liam, what is your reaction to this? Amazing. I know, after a, a long winless streak that has haunted him forever, Danny Wells finally gets it done. What a win for the rookie Danny Wells. Natalie Haydens came so close that she got beat by two one hundredths of a second. When we'll take a look at that finish again, we'll take a look at your finishing results. All right, there's a lot of wrecks that happened near the back of the pack in this one. So let's take a look at what happened, what transpired on this final lap. You see the first wreck here is, uh, there is Trent Dunham, and he's going to get into his girlfriend, Red Bell. Oh, no. Why, Trent? Why? And then he would wreck himself. And then there you see behind him, Hiroshi Kato. Why, Trent? Why would you do that to your girlfriend? You're going to go down to the racetrack, and then Hiroshi Kato's going to get in the middle of it. And then he's going to take a hard hit from his teammate Wolfgang Metal and the City Tour Savannah Turner, our previous race winner. Oh, my God. And just like that, the previous race winner, Savannah Turner's day, goes up in smoke. Man, I don't know what I don't know what yeah, happened there, but here these cars that wrecked on last one. Anyway. Just unbelievable, and I mean that in a bad way. Look, look at this, look at this here. Eric Burton's gonna get turned by Hannah Smith around here. And man, uh, Eric Burton's all the way on that banking, but he doesn't wreck anyone, which is a surprise. We're trying to figure out where all everyone else wrecked because there was a wreck that happened behind the leaders and that was right before the start finish line we're trying to figure out where it is sorry i'm trying to cycle through the cars here but we're trying to figure out where the uh where the wreck occurs and that that happened near the back of the pack now something happens near the back of the pack and then all of a sudden it's pandemonium Hang on, all over the well, Liam, here it is. It's uh, the 43 and Nicole Sanchez is... No, wait, it's the 4 of Yoko Makedo who tries to uh, block Nicole Sanchez, but he doesn't know that he hasn't cleared him yet. Maybe his spotter is not... His spotter wasn't paying attention. And then Yoko Makedo... Oh, man, a hard hit into the wall by Yoko Makedo. And then Nicole Sanchez is going to take a hard hit on the outside wall. And then something's going to happen around here. No, wait, this was... Uh, We'll get a look. We'll get. We'll get a look at the finish afterwards. But then you're gonna see these guys. They're gonna. I think something's gonna happen right around here. Oh man, Pichu just clips the seventy. Clips the four of Yoko Makedo. Oh man. And heavy damage to the thirty-six car. And Pichu will not make everywhere. it to the line. Oh, my God. And he's going to lose a lot of positions. And now we're going to take a look at that finish.
We're gonna take a look at the finish here. Well, I mean, we're, we're, we're seeing that, that in, in, in NASCAR, NASCAR before, before the, the 2007 day 2500 when you're on track for a good position, position and, and you know, you know these last 50, 50 feet or so even, you, you make, make a mistake, or somebody, somebody makes a mistake around, around you, and then you, you could have, have the worst, worst, worst end, end of, it. of it. Yep, there it take that out. That was the finish. There is the margin. We'll take a look at the official racing results as the margin is 16 one hundredths, one thousandths of a 16 one thousandths of a second. That was the margin. That was how close Danny Wells came to losing that race. And that at the same time, that was how close Natalie came well, to losing you. the race. For men's men race, 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 you, 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 you know, when it's that close, it's like, like I know, I know you, you, you don't want to want it, you could have lost it, you got no idea. And then, and then those three seconds before, before your crew chief comes, chief comes on the radio and tells you that you, that you want it, it. feels like an eternity. eternity. Well, Danny Wells, how about that? Danny Wells, he has got to be a happy man. Finally breaks the windless streak that has lauded him for a long time. How about that for Danny Wells? Congratulations to him. What is your reaction to that, Liam? Well, you know... Well, you know we're, we're, we're close to friends outside, outside of the series. series. Don't we don't live pretty, pretty close to each other. And then, and then I'm, I'm happy, happy to be here. Finally. 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 Got his, got his long away and win. win. Well, that was and a you know, happy I'm happy for him. Well, that was a big win for Danny Wells. And Natalie Hayden's, after um, not a good race in, in the at Daytona, she comes just so, oh so close to her first win and just her second start. Oh yes, and of course Aaron Williams, the first veteran, coming in third, and he beats Tracy Moore for the last spot on the podium by five one thousandths of a second. And then Barney Ward will run out the top five. Just, it just battled everywhere. Close everywhere. I know. The, the top four, check it out. The top four came within six one hundredths of a second. Look at that. They were, look at that. So close. They were just so close to each other. Man, just exciting finishes that have happened here in the PORWC, and you can't ask for something better than that. Of course, uh, Dion Scott will end up sixth. John Worry will end up seventh. Liam Irving, a good run for him. He will end up eighth in his first start. Dylan Poteet will end up ninth with the top 10, and Justin Perry rounds out the top 10. Then it's Jason Marshall in 11th. No, yep, and uh, we go through 11th through 20th. Jason Marshall, Richard Earnhardt, Matthew McMurray, James Qualls, Vidaly Makarov, Chloe Lennon, Dylan Young, Joss Albers, Luke Walker, and Sean Henley. We take a look at 21st through 30th now. That is John Dawson, Alexander Dawson, Red Bell, Nicole Sanchez, Wolfgang Vettel, Eric Burton, Seth Cole will finish 27. Seth, do you have a copy? Can you hear us? Doesn't look like yeah, he... Yeah, there he is. Well, Seth, you ended up 27th near the back of the pack. Um, oh, wait. Okay. Well, yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it. Very disappointing for this, Seth. What is your reaction? All right, thank you for the enthusiasm, Seth. We'll see you in the next, we'll see you in the Pepsi Cup Series race. Xavier Livingston, Ryan Cooper, and Michael Dawson will finish 28th, 29th, and 30th, respectively. And then we go through the bottom 12, Hiroshi Kato, Savannah Turner, Trent Dunham, Yoko Mikado, Sean Galligan, Pichu, Charles Jackson, Hannah Smith. Those guys finish a lap down. Hey, Charles, are you there, buddy? Yeah, yeah, I'm there. Charles, you ended up in the bottom, you ended up 37th in the bottom six. A very disappointing day for you after you got involved in that first wreck. What is your reaction? 
Charles, a disappointing finish for Charles Jackson as he ends up 37th. Then we go through um, the most bottom. The most strong show. emotion shown. Yeah, very disappoint disappointment, but, you know, some things you just can't control, and just the mistake of one driver can cost the race for a, a lot of others. Unbelievable. Then we go through the bottom four. That is Seiko Kato. I kind of had to uh, rush through this one. Seiko Kato has actually finished 39th. Zohar Manood, 40th. Joseph Clark, 41st, and Oliver Alacy will finish dead last. All those four drivers with a DNF. But what oh, a Kevin, race. Oh, Kevin, you know. Let me at. Let me just ask you. What are your post race thoughts on this? I think that it's just a matter of with patience, you know. Some drivers just don't have enough patience, and then... They get excited for something when to make a pass, and then all of a sudden they make the wrong kind of pass. And then, in just a heartbeat, they take out like 10, 15 cars. Just very unfortunate for yeah. a lot of these cars. Yeah. One driver's mistake can cost the race for many. It's just very unfortunate, but what can you do? Yeah, and then both, yeah, of, us and then both of us here are probably, probably been on Natalie Hayden's Hayden edge of the fish. Well, now, now, what, 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 what comes through your mind as a driver, driver when you come so, you close, come to so close to winning? Well, I've been on, I've been on the, I've been on the short end of the stick many times on a close finish, especially if you remember the uh, the GameStop Cup series on uh, Bristol when I finished about about less than uh, a tenth of when I finished about five one hundredths of a second short of a win over Dil, under Dylan Poteet. I remember that one very much, but. It's just when you call, it's just when you it's just that you gotta be at the right place at the right time. You got you gotta have the speed and pretty much sometimes it might come down to luck too. You're gonna you might need a little bit of luck if you want to um come up with a win and that's what Danny Wells had and he came away with the win by sixteen one thousandths of a second. That has gotta be one of the closest finishes in the PURWC so far. But well, congratulations to Danny Wells on finally breaking his winless streak. Wow. Unbelievable. And I mean that in a good way. So, uh, we'll have, we'll have our Pepsi Cup Series race uh, later on. And of course, um, I want to thank Liam Irving, my, co my co-commentator, for helping me out on this. And then, yep. uh... Yep. Anytime. Okay. And I also want to thank my uh, my two uh, in-race reporters, Seth Cole and Charles Jackson, for also helping me out. Thank you very much, guys. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. No problem. All right, this has been your PRDC president, Kevin Rabinal, signing off. This race has been brought to you by GameStop, Power to the Players. Here come your standings. <laughs>